Your credit score is an important way to communicate to lenders that you're trustworthy and worth giving money to. But what happens when it becomes a struggle to keep on top of your bills and pay everything on time? Hello, Central Oregon. Eric Pasha here with HomeSource. And today we're going to be talking all about credit and how you can protect yourself when it comes to things being a little bit stretched at home. First, let's take a look at the two biggest factors that are going to affect your credit score. The first of these being your payment history, the second being the overall amount of debt that you've borrowed. Now, this includes those balances on your credit card and your utilization rate. More on that later. In total, these two factors make up more than 65% of what goes into your score. So focusing on how you're using debt and how you're planning to pay it back can go a long way towards building and maintaining your credit score. Let's take a look at each piece separately. Your payment history. On-time payments are one of the biggest factors that can drive up your credit score. Lenders like to see a consistent history of on-time payments and showing that you're actually paying that debt off. Do this and you can expect an increase to your score over time. Now, miss a payment, you can plan on a dip in your score, at least temporarily. Another big factor that goes into your credit score is how much debt that you've got overall. And yes, this does mean that your lenders are adding up your car loan, your student loans, your credit card balance to determine how likely you are to pay them back over time and how likely they are to get paid back. Also, they're looking at how you're using your credit cards. Do you have a high percentage of your credit limit each month? Do you use a lot of that balance? If so, you've got a high utilization rate. This will drag down your scores over time. So what can you do to protect your score and boost that score over time? Well, we see that there's two big things. Number one, make your debt payments on time and in full each and every month without exception. By prioritizing this, you'll develop a positive payment history and you'll really start turning some heads. Second, keep an eye on your overall debt. Lenders really like to see that you're paying your debts off before getting any new debt. And keep your spending low on those credit cards as best you can. If you're regularly using 30% or less of your credit limit each month, that's going to positively reflect on your score over time. So let's be honest here, there's no quick fixes when it comes to building your credit, but through consistency and perseverance, you can develop a positive credit history over time, allowing you to borrow money more cheaply when you need it in the future. If you can stay on top of your credit history, head on over to annualcreditreport.com where you can access your free credit report from each reporting agency. Now through April of 2021, you can get an online report every single week. That's 51 times more per year than you could just a few months ago. Take advantage of it. If you'd like to take a deeper dive into the other three factors that make up your credit score, be sure to join us for our Money on the Mind series where you can learn the basics of credit and those other factors that go into creating financial health and wellness in your life. You can find out more at neighborimpact.org. This has been Eric Pasha with HomeSource. Stay safe, stay healthy, and take care of yourself. <music>